Well, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, this is Brother West, Prophet West, coming to you again. What is this? This is um, Wednesday. Wednesday. Halfway through. Halfway through the week. Want to greet you in the name of the Lord. Um, I like to say, get up. I like to say, be encouraged. I like to say that you're gonna make it. I like to say that you're gonna live. You're not gonna die, but you are gonna live. Some of you, you woke up with bad news. And this news is so bad that it's taking so much energy from you. It's taking so much life from you just hearing the news. But I want to let you know after, after a while, by and by, you still going to make it. You still going to live. And the news that you heard, God is going to turn that news around to good news. In bad times, God is going to give you and send you good news. God is going to turn things around. The thing that you need to realize is that it takes negative and a positive to create light that creates a spark. It takes both. Even the Bible says all things work together for good to them that love the Lord and are the call. So whatever you're going through, it's working out for your good. God is working it out. God is working it out. I want to say this right here. I want to talk about risk takers and what i want to say is this right here the reason why i want to talk about risk takers because there's some of you that listen to me you're planning you're planning to to make a big move you're planning to to risk something you're planning to do something that you normally don't do it's out of it's out of your element it's out of your mind what you're planning to do you're planning to make a move you plan to go from one place to the next What's happening also is fear. You're afraid. You're afraid of failure. You're afraid that, did you really hear God? You're afraid that, am I, are you moving too soon? Am I moving too soon? Am I doing what's right? I just want to say this right here. Some of the most successful people of our time have been risk takers. Because with every risk taker, there, there are failures. There are failures. But those failures don't define them. They keep getting up until they succeed. And so I want to say that you are going to succeed. You are going to hit the target. You are going to become your maximum from God. You are going to fulfill your destiny. You are going to walk in your purpose. And so for those people where fear is talking to you, it's trying to stop you from making certain moves. Ignore the fear. Ignore the fear. Ignore the fear. See, because God has not given us and has not given you the spirit of fear because fear brings torment if things are tormenting you keep tormenting you keep tormenting you keep tormenting you then that's not god god ain't gonna torment you god is gonna help you god's gonna bring peace to you he's not gonna bring torment to you and also he's not gonna bring confusion god is not doctor confusion no he's not no he's not no he's not god will god will um, give you the understanding god will give you clarity god will give you a clear picture and so what i'm doing and what I'm going to say is that I pray that God gives you a clear picture. I pray that God gives you a revelation, uh, a revelation, a revelation of, of, of what he's doing in your life. I pray that God gives you a um, open eye experience where you can see clearly the pathway that he's taking you down, that you might find life and that it might encourage your heart. And there's some of you. You're in a dark time in your life. You're in a dark time in your life. But I pray that God sends you a calipote. He sends you an encounter where even in your, 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 your bad situation, your dark situation, he sends you and takes you into the future. And he shows you the promise of what he has for you. Even though you're in a situation right now where it doesn't seem promising, I pray that God takes you away, gives you an encounter with him, that he shows you his promise for you. It encourages your heart, then he brings you back to your reality. See, the thing about it, in your reality, in your fire, in your pressure, the more you invite God in your situation, the more He, the more God is going to stay in, in your situation. The more he's going to become strong in your situation. And you need what you need to know also in your fiery trials, the fire is there to free you. Is there, is there to free your bounds? Is there to free your bondages? 
It's there to free everything that's trying to keep you bound. That's the purpose of the fire. That's the purpose of the pressure. The purpose of the pressure is to free you. The purpose of the, the pressure is to liberate you. Just like the Hebrew boys that was in the fire furnace. Because they trust God so, they knew that God was able to deliver them. And they knew that God was going to deliver them. When they were in their fire and it was seven times hotter, the Bible says that they saw someone in, in the fire with them, liken her to the Son of Man. And, and they were dancing in the fire because the Son of Man was in there. And because the Son of Man was in there, they were freed from what was binding them. When you invite God in there, when you invite, invite God in your pressure, when you invite God in your hurt and your pain and all of that, his presence will cause what's burning you, what's afflicting you to liberate you and cause you to become free in the midst of your warfare. Even David said, and I'm close after I'm going to close after this, while I'm in the presence of my enemy, while dangers around God, you prepare the table before me where I can eat where I can relax and where I can dine. And so while you're surrounded by trouble, while you're surrounded by despair, rejection, enemies, people trying to get at you, people trying to hurt you, people trying to pull you down, backbite on you, talk about you. In the midst of all of that, God is going to prepare a table. And so that table means that he's giving you peace. God is sending you peace. In the midst of your storm, God is sending you inward peace, inward peace, inside peace in your heart, peace in your mind. He's bringing peace. And as a matter of fact, you're going to become the peace that he sends. What God sends you, you're going to become it. You're going to become it. You're going to become his imprint. You're going to become a standard. You're going to become power. You're going to, come, you're going to become strength. And you are going to become Victory. Victory is your portion. Victory is your portion. Amen. Have a good morning.